your forecast first. Sponsored by Natax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. The fog that just doesn't seem to want to go away. This fog is still out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our camera network again. Decatur, Champagne. You can tell a big difference here, can't you? So let's go ahead and take this. We'll launch it full and notice the murkiness out there. Barely seeing some of the lights in downtown Decatur. And that's basically because we've got visibilities that are showing up that are actually at zero in some locations. You can see down to a third of a mile Decatur and Bloomington, Pontiac half a mile, and in Champaign, even Mattoon, down to a third of a mile as well. So be careful if you're going out there tonight with that thick fog in place. Also, it's freezing fog as temperatures are below that 32 degree mark. Starting to see some of the heat even on our Neal Street camera here. So the fog continues, the temperature's cooling, sunshine. Can we see anything like that this week? We'll talk about it when we come back. WCIA 3 News starts right now. Now on WCIA 3 News. We told you about a school district that's rolling out rapid COVID-19 testing. Why their first day has them looking to expand. Plus the return of indoor dining is on a lot of your minds. How close central Illinois could be to opening back up. And we've been telling you about a COVID outbreak at a prison, how long it took officials to report the first death. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. We want it to be as, um, as friendly for, for as many students as possible. They seem to be succeeding. Today was the first day of a new testing method for students in Muhammad. You've heard it referred to as rapid testing. The results are returned in 15 minutes. School leaders hope this will keep cases down. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting is live in our newsroom. Courtney, this is a big deal. It absolutely is, Jennifer. More than 500 people signed up to be tested today at the junior high school where they're offering that drive through testing. School leaders are hoping to expand it to 800 just in the days that it's available alone just on Mondays. It does only take a few minutes of someone's time. We did a lot of investigation before we launched this and we finally got to launch it. It seems to be paying off. Rapid testing is now available for students and staff in Muhammad. District nurse Nita Bachman says it was worth all the work. It's different from the PCR test, which is offered at Carl and Marketplace Mall. If you have people that are symptomatic, then the gold standard is that if they're symptomatic but they test negative, that you would send them then to get a PCR test. And it comes with quicker results. They actually are taking um, 15 minutes for the test to process. And then we have a crew of people who are actually sending out the information and disseminating um, information to parents as soon as we get those test results. So typically they're getting their results within an hour. Superintendent Lindsey Hall says it's too early to say what impact this will have, but they feel optimistic. What it allows us to do is catch positive cases earlier than they would be caught without this testing. And therefore, the potential is to perhaps slow the spread Paul considers it just another tool in their arsenal of COVID-19 protection. We've offered shields to all of our staff. Some, some folks wear them, some don't. That's fine. Everybody wears a mask. We're socially distancing to the greatest extent possible. And they encourage people to make this part of their schedule. For this to really help us and help us stay in school and keep people healthy and, and hopefully cut down on the, the spread of COVID-19, that um, we, we need people to engage in this testing process on a regular basis. If you do, if you're a student or a staff member and you do want to get tested, you do need to sign up for a time through their online portal. Portal. We have a link to that as well as an email that you can use to contact if you have any questions for the district on our website at WCIA.com. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Courtney, thank you so much. Now that testing isn't required, but it is free for students and staff. The state is covering the costs. The drive through is available every Monday from 8 to 6. They'll also do some testing through out the week if someone has symptoms. District leaders in Urbana are looking at ways to roll out its own rapid testing. The district is joining a pilot program with state health officials and the Board of Education to offer Abbott's rapid antigen tests on site. It won't cost the district anything. Each school will be able to test symptomatic students and staff, and staff will be able to get tested weekly. There's a board meeting tonight. We will bring you the full story tonight at 10.
Springfield Public Schools will return to the classroom in a week, but the teachers union isn't happy after the school board ignored its own goals and voted to send students back. In the fall, the district set in place guidelines to return. The board voted to return despite the county not meeting two of its three metrics. Superintendent Jennifer Gill says the district will adapt as more information becomes available. So we will need to be flexible and, and make sure that we're providing academics if they're feeling well enough to do so during that time. And if not, it's a sick day. And we all have um, learned about, about how to handle this a little bit even during remote. But they signed up to be hybrid teachers with the understanding that the district was going to follow the metrics that it set forth. And that rug was pulled out from underneath them last night. The district is expected to be part of a pilot program that would bring tests to the schools in the city, but there's no timeline for that yet. Indoor dining could return in a few weeks for parts of central Illinois. We've told you before, the state is divided into regions. Region 6 goes from Wanseca to Alney and from Decatur to Danville. The positivity rate there has been below the 12% threshold for 27 days, but public health leaders say several factors have to be considered before things, uh, before things including restaurants, can reopen. The decision is not based on how good the community is doing. The decision is based on the healthcare system. And the region, the surrounding counties also feed into Carl and OSF and Christie. Health officials also want to see if cases increase after the holidays. They won't know that for another two weeks. Here's a look at today's coronavirus numbers statewide. The state reporting more than 6,800 new cases and 126 more deaths. The positivity rate hasn't moved. It's still at 9.8%. Here in central Illinois, ICU beds are filling up. In region 3, 83% are being used. That's up 8% from yesterday. In region 6, it's 73% being used. That's also up from yesterday. Nearly 10 days after it happened, the Illinois Department of Corrections reporting a death at the Danville prison. It happened the day after Christmas. An inmate in his 40s died after contracting the virus. State officials haven't explained why there was a delay in announcing the death. It's the first announcement since the state amped up testing there that led to a spike in case numbers. Right now, IDOC is reporting 266 active cases at the prison. To date, 747 people have been tested. The state says 481 have recovered. Wearing a mask is critical to curbing the spread of COVID-19, but it creates a problem for people with hearing loss, making it difficult to communicate. Ryan Corey is a U of I postdoctoral researcher and lives with hearing loss himself. A friend who teaches in a school with kids living with hearing loss asked which mask was the best fit. He and his team used a special loudspeaker in the shape of a human head to test acoustic effects of different face masks. It's very frustrating. Uh, so people with hearing loss need more of the high frequency cues. Hearing loss tends to affect high frequencies like consonant sounds, and those are the same ones that the masks tend to block. So it sort of makes existing hearing loss worse. Corey says the data showed surgical face masks are best. 100% cotton masks work well too, but surgical masks do a better job of blocking droplets. Man accused of beating his son last year pleaded guilty to battery. Seth Nashland was arrested in February after officers say he took his then two month old son to the hospital. The baby had brain injuries, fractured ribs, and bruising. Nashland told police he hurt the child after he got frustrated. Champaign police are still asking for information on a murder. Lisa Lewis was shot and killed in her car last Monday. That was at the Nantucket apartment complex. Her son told us she was getting ready to go to work. Police are asking for anyone with information to call them or Crime Stoppers. A 27-year-old man was shot in the neck and leg in Decatur last night. It happened at East Sedgwick in South Jasper. That's been the scene of several shootings. If you have any information, in this case, call police. A year ago, law enforcement voiced concerns about legal marijuana sales, but did they see the outcome they were worried about? Plus this. I'm trying to force the judge to read the statute as written. Governor Pritzker is facing another lawsuit. One man is using an old transcript to challenge the governor's emergency power. Hey, you just rolled your eyes at me. <laughs> Pocket, Pocket pockets dress. and a dress. Oh my is God. That, that, is that like the best thing? Is it's that... the best thing. Yeah. Yes. Ask your wife. She will tell you. Uh, so. You boys don't stand there with. I my know. suit jacket has like fake pockets. You know, so I got these flaps. They're sewed in. They're not, you no, know. Oh, it's so comfortable. Not right, I, ladies? Not that I ever like, put my hands in my pocket like No, that. you guys get to do this. Yeah, we get to do this.
for what? Can you tell anyways. us not a lot to talk about in what? Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to need to wear a dress with pockets <laughs> every day. What's that? You're still so Yeah, I pull them open. Well, yeah, but if you that, open them, then they're not as smooth. I get that. I get it. Weather's oh. next. Oh my Come gosh. on. <laughs>